What's going on, Golf Addicts? DB here, and I am pumped about a brand new show that we're starting right in. Let's golf. Let's golf. Let's golf. Let me bring on our, our new host. It's not me. It's not Pat. If you're in the Nut Hut, if you're in the Discord, you know him as Mr. Progress Over Perfection. We know him as our buddy Blake. Blake Kazava. I got oh, it. hell yeah. I appreciate it, man. Quickly, I, I want you to tell the folks what's on the agenda for, for the first episode here of One Groove Load. We're going to be taking a look at, at, at your beautiful golf swing. Oh, my God. It's like getting the prostate exam in public on YouTube. But yes, <laughs> yes, sure. Let's, let's do it. Uh, you know, David, I'll, I'll just preface this idea. Your, your golf swing, dude, is, is far closer uh, than what you think it is. And obviously, you play good golf. We've kind of talked about where your golf game is. Mm -hmm. Um you know, you have one half of your golf swing that is just phenomenal. And then one half of your golf swing, uh, you know, it just it just, just took a, a little bit of a rest or a nap or it just kind of didn't show up. Um, yeah. And, and I'm sure under pressure, it, it's it probably does a little bit more of the same. So here we're going to take take a nice look here. Let's see if I can get you. There we is go. That okay right there? Yeah, that looks like great. That? Yeah, it looks great. Well, Let's do this. So we'll take kind of a deep first kind of look at your golf swing for all the viewers out there. Always very impressed uh, with your golf, your golf attire. Okay, your, yeah. your likes to look good. We, yeah. we kind of talked about that. Um, you yeah. know, you, you you know, and you do look like somebody who who is who has kind of invested a lot of time and money into the game and wants to look good, wants the golf swing to look good. Um, but that that's where there's a slight disconnect, right? So I've kind of labeled this out in positions, okay, for all the viewers out there who don't understand the positions of the golf swing. Setup, position one, mm -hmm. okay, beautiful setup, nice and athletic, nothing wrong here. You have this nice kind of grip. Butt end is 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 right at the belt buckle, nice athletic stance, nothing wrong here, dude. Okay. Beautiful kind of primary setup. When I talk with players about setup, you know, I oftentimes talk to them about if you want to swing like a tour pro, you know, you got to set up like a set up. bottom line takeaway. You know, this is the only part of your backswing that I don't like. Okay. We, we again, I've, I've kind of hit this idea before that the club is potentially rolling a bit too far inside. That's okay. Um, it's really not going to make or break your golf swing. Um, up to P3. P3 is kind of this three quarter position back. Everything still here is, is phenomenal. You're turning your P4, dude. Okay. P4, top of the backswing. Fantastic. Okay, club face is in a great spot. Left hand, lead wrist is in a nice flat position. I talk about matchups in golf. Okay, mm -hmm. so there's a matchup between club face and grip. Your matchup is phenomenal. Okay, everything right here screams that you're going to be a good golfer. <laughs> really good. Uh, you know, I have uh, you have no idea how many guys I work with who are, are either, you know, very low digit handicappers or plus handicappers who have a worse top position than you mm. okay so so think about that yeah this Thank is you. about this is this is where the roller coaster gets off the <laughs> off the off the rails a little bit okay this first move this is the move that the worst this, this is this is oh, it makes me so fucking mad stuff starts to go wrong okay when i talk shapes in the golf swing okay uh, I like to talk about this figure eight kind of function. So here's a figure eight that I like seeing. Okay. Yeah. You can kind of see how the club works. In yeah. This kind of overall function. Yeah. Now this is the figure eight that you kind of present. Yeah. That's a yeah. lot of handicappers, high yeah. handicappers utilize. So, you know, bottom line for you, David. Okay. As far as how good your backswing is. If you can learn a simple transition function to start to shallow you out, so there's two, there's two kind of kind of concepts that I would love you to think about for you moving forward because because th this motion doesn't play, no. this motion doesn't play under pressure. Let me tell you that. No, it doesn't. Um, two concepts, okay? Figure eight. Think about a figure eight. Make this motion. Exaggerate this motion. Do it time and time again until you're like, holy cow, I'm starting to feel something. Feeling it. Eat. Okay. You're gonna get you're you're gonna give me that flow. You're gonna kind of create this sensation. The next thing is gonna be about space. Okay, I, I love your impact position. 
Stop. We're about to get there. Yeah, you can see how right here, P6, club's a little steep, face is open. Body's already starting to stand up. Okay, I can see. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> You've seen this before. You don't have to laugh now. Okay, you should have already gotten all the laughs out. It just gets me every time. Um, it, if I were to draw a line on you, okay, you, you're straight up a pencil, right? Yeah. You're just yeah. you're, you're vertical. Your yeah. your butt, your pelvis has approached the golf ball. Yeah. Um, your chest is wide open. You probably hit a lot of shots where you feel like you come up and out of it. Yeah. Uh, probably flare it out to the right. To be quite honest, with that mechanic. So the second concept is space. Okay, when I talk about space, uh, I'm talking about a pelvis chest relationship. Okay, the pelvis has to stay back in order for the chest to stay down. When you do this kind of hump into what I call sacred space, okay, it, a lot of a lot of inconsistency starts to occur. Okay, you're going to get really handsy. The club's reacting to your body. You can see how that right hand's kind of flipped over. Yeah. If you learn how to keep your butt back and chest down, Okay, you'll have no, you, you won't be able to be handsy and flippy down at the bottom because if you do, you'll, you'll, you'll fat it every single time. So if you can learn how to keep the chest down, butt back, create space, effectively you're a little lower to the ground. You got to hold angles a little bit better through impact. All of a sudden you start to compress the golf ball a little bit more. You get better dynamic loft. You're not dealing with such in, in, insufficient club face awareness. Um, but there's kind of the rundown of your golf swing to a degree. I know it wasn't, you know, super roasty, but um, I, I'll, bottom line is I want to be here to help you. Well, I, as much as I enjoyed that, um, <laughs> I would like to move on because, uh, but I do want to, I do want to talk to you, you know, yeah. uh, about kind of some thoughts there because I, I, I have always known that that's what I do. I, I, I'm an old baseball player. So, you know, that, that's totally. kind of my tendency. Um, and, and I've told teachers in the past that I have a hard time feeling um, like I can feel shoulders. I feel like I can feel arms. I can sometimes feel chest. I have a hard time feeling anything, but I'm like a, I'm like a damn paraplegic from my waist down. I don't feel anything. I don't feel my hips. I don't yeah. feel necessarily my knees or my, any of that really like pressure as much. Mm -hmm. um, so it's hard for me to, to, to do some of those things. Now I, I, I can feel, and I have thought about like the, the butt back thing, right? I would think that even if I think about keeping my butt back from the top, if I still, if I still come this way with my shoulders, even with, totally. my, even with my butt back, I'm still going to be super across the, across the so, line. So, so let me hit you with two things. So let's say you're, you're, you're paraplegic, can't feel your lower body. Yeah. Yeah. I just talked about this pelvis chest relationship. Okay. If you can't think lower body wise, you got to start to think upper body wise, mm -hmm. your chest. Mm -hmm. Okay. If your chest feels like it's going more down, what's going to end up happening is your pelvis is going to stay back. back. Yeah. Okay. So there's one way to kind of tackle that thought. Uh, the second reason that you got to understand that I would create space for you. Okay. Your subconscious brain, a person's subconscious brain is smart. It's super smart. Your shoulder mechanism, your, your right shoulder, how it kind of covers early, your subconscious brain, in my opinion, is believing that it doesn't have space to drop. OK, so mm. so so the subconscious thought of not having space lends itself to you always feeling like you got to do this right shoulder cover to get back to the golf ball. Mm -hmm. Now, would it be overnight? No, uh, n none of this is. Dang it. But OK, with exaggeration, with understanding concepts, with repetition that doesn't have to be on a golf course, huge misconception there. You don't have to be on a driving range to yeah. get better. I'm a huge motion believer. Motion lends itself to ball flight. Ball flight lends itself to results. So you start to learn emotion. You exaggerate emotion. You understand a concept. Okay, you will progress. I, I promise. Um, I see it time and time again. When I, you got to understand. For me, I deal with about eighty percent of, uh, of guys that come see me deal with what you deal with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I have about six different functions to work against that motion. Um, I think that's another kind of good measure for a teacher not that i'm a great teacher but you know having different ways to communicate the same idea or finding different mechanisms to approach the same ball flight law you deal with a club pass club path face awareness dynamic loft issue okay there's your three that's why your downswing is ineffective in my opinion hey and eventually we'll do pat swing on here which will make make me make me feel a lot better so 
Good, good. I, I look forward to that. Um, we're going to kind of go in the next direction here really quickly. This is our Instagram submission video. Here we go. He's getting ready. Love the two gloves that set up. You know this club's not slipping out of his hands. Oh, smoke show, baby. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the good parts of this golf swing and the not-so-good parts of this golf swing. But let me kind of preface and begin with what kind of dude this is. This is the kind of guy, okay, you do not want to play for money out on the golf course. And let me tell you why. Okay, this homegrown, home-built golf swing, is he's just going to slap it around the golf course all day, probably hitting driver about 200 yards. But you best believe it's going to be between the tree lines. And you best, best believe this dude's short game is a killer. He's been having to work on his short game his whole life. Yes. Do not play this guy for money. Now let's talk mechanics of the golf swing. What I love in his golf swing. Okay, he gets fantastic lower body turn on the way back. What I would suggest as a fix is getting his hand position a little bit higher. That's going to give him a little bit more leverage, a little bit more lag and speed on his way down. Now let's watch his golf swing transition, the Matsuyama cheap version special. Okay, right here, he's so messed up. Okay, this is where a lot of issues are going to come from. He hasn't rotated very effectively. Club face is open and thrown. Oh, he's not even looking at his head here. Not even looking at the golf ball. Doesn't even want, want to see what impact looks like. Okay, but there's the lash. There's the turn. The best way that I would suggest him go about this from this position right here is he's got to start turning that lower body a little bit faster, a little bit more aggressively. Get that left pocket around, and good things will happen. Shallow and turn, baby. Get rid of that lash. You're going to see this guy for years to come if he learns those mechanics and you might see him on the top of some leaderboards in districts near you is this is that caitlin jenner did she, did I, don't, she I don't even know who that is dude that but is... i like him it's a dude i i think that but how would, good is that dude i would rather play with that guy than dj khaled I can't. let's go let's go let's go what the fresh hell it's par Let's go. Let's go. I bet you that guy's made. Let's go. I bet you he didn't count on his hand how many times he's made par. I bet you, I bet you, you know, everything in my bank account, that dude's made about seven pars in his career. Dude, that that is the that is the most mild clip you could have chosen. Oh, I believe me, I, I, got, I got another one, dude. Oh, do, bring another it's, one. It's, yeah, that's very mild. If people I don't know. know yeah, here we go. Bring I want to wine and dine before you know anything goes further. I'm not. I'm not about to toss people into the, the fire show too soon. You're you're losing. Check out my swing, swing here. here. I, I see, see what I'm doing, doing right, right, right. right. Check out the form now. now. I, now I now watch, watch me bend, bend my knees, knees a little. little. Boom. Boom. Oh. Straight, Straight down. Okay, okay, but hang on. Oh. I see something there. Oh. God. Like you, you, like he, he's actually doing better than me. In no, keeping, he's not, dude. Yeah, look at his yeah. look at his butt yeah. staying back. Look. Yeah, because he's only arms, oh. dude. Yeah. Straight, straight down, down the middle. middle. Straight down, down the middle. middle. This last part. Right, right onto the green. green. Right. There's no way. Come to bring out my putter. Bro, I can hit my six iron. That dude just hit his driver. I unless that par three is 215 yards, there is no chance that found a green. Do you have any more? Listen, he completely loves the game. Respect, okay. I understand. I love it too. Um, and, 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 you know, sure. In some ways I, I am, I am happy that he's exposing his audience, his millions of, of followers and fans to the game. It's awesome. There are a ton of hip hop influencers or NBA influencers or, you know, people that you wouldn't expect to be normal, you know, your everyday white guy golfer yeah. out there getting into golf and exposing the game of golf to their following. And I love it but they don't do the garbage that DJ Khaled <laughs> does on the golf course. And that I can't take. Also, well, I'll have people in the comments. Oh dude, you're probably, you're so, you're probably so fun to play with. Listen, I am fun to play with. I promise you. Uh, I, I love music on the golf course. I like it loud. I want to, I go to the golf course and I drink. I, uh, you know, I talk shit to if, if we're in a match or whatever, a hundred percent, but there are, there are levels to this. This dude is literally screaming and yelling 
after every shot like he's a power lifter totally. and he's he's uh every everything is down the middle and on the green <laughs> and and what the what the hell that was pretty good it, I've watched a lot of tape, bro. I've watched a lot of tape. I mean, is this is this kind of like taking control of your life a little? It kind bit of right is. Now? What what is this thing about? Let's go golf. Let's go golfing. What is no that? He said he says both of them back to back, and then he has these other videos where he's like, "Let's are you let's go golf? Are you let's go golfing?" And I'm like, "What yeah. the? Fuck? What are you talking about? I'm actually neither. I don't say either one of them. You shouldn't say either one of them. You should say let's go play golf, or I'm going to go play golf." Right. So I, I, yeah, I have a kind of a mixed opinion on this because because I exactly hear where you're coming from. And, you know, for, for people maybe just starting off golf and they see DJ Khaled on the social media and they're like, OK, this is what golf is. Um, you know, do I want want golf to be this huge etiquette, you know, kind of in the past game? Uh not really. That's not kind of my vision. But but do I want it on that extreme to where it's just a it's almost a, a darn joke? I, I think there's a happy medium. Like when you go play golf, you get music going, you know, you're talking yeah. shit. But but there is respect. Right. And, and, and the game is kind of centered. And, and I'm going to sound soft for saying that. I'll be the first to admit. But but, you know, maybe maybe at heart, I'm a traditionalist. I, I don't know. Maybe you are 20, 24 years of age. Maybe I am. Maybe that's uh Maybe I like when people don't talk to me. Dude, if that dude walked out on the first tee with me, I mean, I would take my car. He'd say he'd hit one tee shot, 215 down the center, say something stupid, and I'd walk my ass right back to the clubhouse. No chance. I'm well, yeah, with that guy. Yeah, or or he shakes your hand, he introduces himself, and he's like, let's go golf, brother. Let's go golfing. And you're like, what the fuck? That's what we're doing. Like, what are we talking about? Why are you telling? Why are you saying that? You know, and then he hits the drive and he screams and he walks it off and he's like, down the middle. And you'd be like, I would rather play behind, I'd rather play behind a gaggle of Patrick Cantlay's. <laughs> give, give me seven of those dudes in front of me and give me a seven hour round. I'd I'll rather take that. There's yeah. you cannot tell me if it wasn't DJ Khaled, if this was just a regular schmuck, the guy that you showed on the video beforehand, a regular yeah. schmuck that shows up and you get paired with, you can, nobody on the internet can tell me that they would enjoy that. They wouldn't. They would not enjoy it's it. It's interesting. If I if I met somebody on the internet who was like, dude, I want to go play with that dude, I'd be like, all right, you're not. That's a red flag for me, dude. Yeah, like that. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge you off of a statement, but I sure as heck don't want to talk to you for the probably yeah. ever again. Yeah, you know that kind of stuff. There, there's gonna be more DJ Khaled segments on this show. I can tell you that um, because I, I like Great. I said I, I'm going deep with this. And um, I'm a dog with I'm a dog with a bone on this DJ Khaled stuff. So there will be more. Um, Blake, what what else? Like, let's just let's wrap it up by telling the folks a little bit more about what to expect. I mean, I know there's obviously going to be the instruction element that we we've touched on, whether it's my swing, Pat swing, uh, a submission from Instagram, a submission from our our Discord and our Nut Hut, where it's like serious instructional stuff. Mm. But outside of that. What what yeah. are some other things? DJ Khaled segments, you know, outside of that, what else? Some of the things I, I'm excited for within uh, this show um, will be, you know, kind of taking a look into to social media teachers, uh, producing and showcasing uh, the good ones from the bad ones, stuff you should listen to, stuff you shouldn't listen to. Um, some of it's ridiculous. Some of it's pretty good. Um, we'll talk about training tools, training aids. I'm a huge believer in those kind of things. Uh, but you have no idea the amount of, uh, of members or guys and girls that I work with that, that come to me with, you know, this $200 new training tool. And I'm like, dude, I could have gotten you something for five bucks. It does the same thing. <laughs> and, and, and I want, I want people out there watching to be able to, to know whether something's worth it or not worth it. Uh, and, and stuff like that. Any any kind of big news, uh, golf, social media stuff. I, I do maybe potentially want to start to take a look at at PGA Tour players and, and people like John Rahm with some of you know the antics when he he's to me he some of the stuff he does when he's playing bad is the softest stuff I, I've ever seen. Mm. You see him you see him smack that that like uh, he's going to sign a scorecard and. He has his putter in his hand and he kind of jabs this little sign like no. a five-year-old. No, I haven't seen uh, that. That that that's something 
that that's something I might want to hit in the future. But there's certain things, you know, just like you said um, in the past, you know, you guys rock the golf betting side. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You absolutely do such a great job. You and Pat both. Um, but I hope this I hope this this show and, and this this page can kind of figure out a way to to hit other golf topics, uh, other things that are starting to present themselves more and more. Um, big, big item topics uh, that that I think viewers will find interesting and really be able to kind of dive into it, whether it's, you know, I, I hope this show doesn't become too mechanical. Uh, I don't want to do too much instruction. It's not my hope. Uh, yeah. I enjoy I enjoy, again, just talking about golf, uh, figuring out ways to, to help people get better without even necessarily seeing their golf swing. Um, but that's kind of my hope. Uh, yeah, and, and and you, you, if you have anything to add on to that, you know, I, I know we'll kind of bounce back and forth from time to time. But well, for me, I mean, you, you know, I, I think handling the instruction side, the training aid stuff, all that stuff is is going to be fun, and and that's where you come in. I also think we want the show to be kind of light, and we want it to to be fun. So, our, you know, me and Pat don't get to talk a lot about just golf stuff in general because it's always so betting and fantasy related. So, you know, we also want to talk about stuff going on in the world of golf and, and also make fun of things. So it's always yeah. fun to make fun of things. And uh, so making fun of things on the Internet that we see from from golf, from golf influencers, from golf YouTubers, um, I, I think that will be fun as well. So we're, we're going to try to keep it light, too, and, uh, and, and knock that out with DJ Khaled being uh, public enemy number one. So we will uh, we'll address him some more um, in, in the future. So. Uh, I would yeah. say I would say stay tuned for another episode of One Groove Low coming to the YouTube channel near you. And um, Blake, I've certainly enjoyed this, my friend. And thanks for the the tips. And you know, between now and the next episode, we'll we'll talk about my game a little bit, and um, and we'll talk. Maybe we'll update the people on what's happened since you know since since this analysis, and yeah. we'll go from there. All right. Enjoyed it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, Click the like video or click the like button if you don't mind. Subscribe to the channel and uh, be on the lookout for another episode of One Group Love. See you.